Here at Red Hat, there's some really cool things happening in the open source community related to data science and the tech stacks around them. I wanted to make a quick video to highlight one part of that, which is running Jupyter Notebooks on OpenShift in containers that can leverage the underlying GPU hardware. If you're not familiar with a Jupyter Notebook, it's essentially an open source web application that lets you create and share these documents that have live code, which could be like Python or R, number of different languages. You have like, you put equations, you, you do visualization, you can add narrative and text around all that. Uh, they're, they're used for like a lot of different purposes, like, like data transformation or data cleaning and also like numerical simulation and statistics and like I said, visualization and, um, and machine learning. So, um, when you get to run those things on OpenShift, you get operations is, loves that because you get a lot of the cool, like container management capabilities and resource isolation and quotas and being able to manage all this stuff. But data scientists love it too, because it can be, um, essentially it can give you that horsepower that, uh, uh OpenShift cluster can provide. It can give that to directly to these, these scientists to have on demand. So without further ado, let's jump onto an OpenShift cluster and see it in action. Right here, I've just got a basic Amazon Web Services cluster with, uh, with GPU node, which is a P3-2XL. Um, and this NVIDIA GPU operator does a lot of the hard lift of automating access and driver management and all the things that you would need to do manually, which is hard uh, to get that GPU and make it available for containers. So, um, like I mentioned, Jupyter Hub is what I wanted to focus on. Even though there's a whole bunch of other stuff inside of this Open Data Hub community that we could look into, but Jupyter Hub uh, it looks like this. So you come in, you've got this list, this file system based list of my notebooks. I got three of them here. So we'll open this one right here. This one uh, I wrote to basically just showcase some common TensorFlow math that you might be doing and, and show the difference between doing it with a GPU versus doing it with a CPU. So we'll take the first cell here and we'll click run. And this is a basic command that's going to ask TensorFlow, hey, how many GPUs do I have in this notebook? Which, which makes sense. It's telling me one because when I created this, um, this Jupyter Hub instance, I only asked for one GPU access. This next one's a little bit more complicated. We're going to run a matrix multiplication operation, and we're going to take a thousand by thousand matrix and multiply it by itself a hundred times. And I'm going to do that um, for, with a CPU, and then I'm going to do that exact same thing again with the GPU. And you'll see it came back with results. And the CPU took five seconds to do this math and the GPU took 0 0.02. So in this case, with a hundred iterations of this thousand by thousand matrix multiplication um, of, of random numbers, it took, uh, it, the GPU gave us a 208 times performance boost, which is pretty awesome. And here's another example of a more of a machine learning type activity, which is doing spatial convolution over images. Um, and in this case, we're doing the same sort of activity where we're going to do it once with the CPU, we're going to do 30 loops of this math. And then um, with the GPU, we're going to do the exact same thing. And we're going to um, compare the results to see um, what the performance differences are. And here we go. So the CPU, results were 24 seconds and the GPU was 0.2. So in this case, yeah, it was still uh, over a hundred times uh, speed up by using the GPU to do this work. So yeah, that's a quick demo of using Jupyter Hub on OpenShift with a GPU. I hope you uh, found it valuable. If you want to find out more, uh, go to openshift.com and look for the AIML topic or you can uh, reach out to me uh, on my Twitter. Thanks.